In Orion's shoulder glows a massive red supergiant, Betelgeuse. For centuries, it has fascinated stargazers and scientists with its unusual, unpredictable behavior. Its brightness fluctuates in mysterious ways, each flicker feeling like a cosmic signal. Recently, these changes have grown more dramatic, fueling one major question, when will Betelgeuse go supernova? There's no formula to predict the exact moment. Yet, the star's recent activity hints at something significant approaching. One major clue came with the great dimming between late 2019 and early 2020. Betelgeuse's brightness dropped suddenly, alarming astronomers worldwide. Some feared it was about to explode, but it soon returned brighter than before. Scientists later determined the dimming was likely caused by a huge cloud of gas and dust ejected from the star's surface. Dr. Andrea Dupree from Harvard likened it to a stellar burb, a natural yet dramatic event in the life of a dying star. Though not the end, it was clearly a warning sign. Then in May 2023, the Twitter account named a Beetlebots announced Betelgeuse had brightened by 142%. The American Association of Variable Star Observers confirmed it. Suddenly, it became the seventh brightest star in the sky. People across the Southern Hemisphere had noticed its deep red glow, even in light-polluted areas. In the Northern Hemisphere, its intensity became more pronounced as the nights grew longer. This wasn't just a one-time event. Betelgeuse began showing new brightness cycles, now repeating every 130 days instead of the usual 400. This major shift suggests the star is entering its final phase. According to researchers at Harvard and UC Berkeley, this cycle may last 5 to 10 years, or never return to normal. Deep inside Betelgeuse, a powerful process is underway. The core is fusing heavier elements, progressing from helium to carbon, then oxygen, silicon, and finally iron. Once iron builds up, fusion can no longer continue. At that point, the core will collapse, resulting in a supernova. Though Betelgeuse is 650 light years away, the explosion will be visibly spectacular. It could shine so bright it casts shadows during the day and remain visible for weeks, maybe months. It may even rival the full moon in brightness. The last such event visible from Earth was Kepler's supernova in 1604, long before the invention of the telescope. This time, we're ready. With modern satellites and telescopes, humanity will witness its first supernova in the modern age. Throughout history, Betelgeuse has captured the imagination of many cultures, ancient Greeks, Aboriginal Australians, and more, all tracking its shifts in brightness. It's a cosmic celebrity, surprising us again and again. When Betelgeuse does explode, the core collapse could create either a neutron star or a black hole, depending on the remaining mass. A neutron star is incredibly dense, just a teaspoon of it would weigh billions of tons. A black hole, however, has gravity so strong that even light can't escape. Dr. Peter Grove, a supernova specialist, said, We're like weather forecasters, but for stars. According to him, Betelgeuse's behavior is unique, but we may still be decades away from the explosion. Still, evidence keeps mounting. Each new observation reveals more about its changing atmosphere, from brightness shifts to surface disturbances. Scientists liken it to a cosmic heartbeat, pulsing stronger and faster over time. Researchers are watching for core collapse indicators, like gravitational waves and neutrino bursts. Meanwhile, technological advances are allowing amateurs and students to track the star using free tools and live observatory data. Citizen science is playing a key role. The excitement is global. Across continents, Schools and communities are watching the same star, drawn together by the same question, will it go supernova soon? Studying Betelgeuse offers an incredible opportunity to understand how massive stars live and die. Stars like Betelgeuse burn hot and fast, living for just 8 to 10 million years. 
Compared to our sun's multi-billion year lifespan, it's a cosmic teenager nearing its end. When it explodes, Betelgeuse will release massive amounts of energy, but not enough to harm Earth. The light show, however, will be unforgettable. Agencies like NASA and ESA already preparing to observe the explosion in detail with advanced instruments. Astronomers are also curious about the aftermath. How will surrounding space respond? Could this explosion trigger new star formation? Supernovas scatter essential elements, carbon, iron, oxygen, into space, forming the building blocks of future stars, planets, and possibly life. In this way, Betelgeuse's end is not just about destruction, it's about rebirth. Its materials may someday become part of new worlds or even living beings. As Carl Sagan famously said, we are made of star stuff, Betelgeuse reminds us of that truth. Some compare watching Betelgeuse to waiting for fireworks, they could ignite at any moment or much later. It's a lesson in patience and wonder. Every flicker brings hope that this moment could change astronomical history. Recent data from the European Southern Observatory revealed unusual asymmetry in the star's outer shell. ESO researcher Lucia Blanco described it as a boiling pot with the lid about to blow. The complexity continues to draw scientists from around the globe. Teams from Japan, South Korea, the US, Germany, and India are now collaborating pooling observations and theories.